The NYSL Major starts later today, so we have to get our pickums in before the matches. And I'll be honest, this is the most excited I've been to watch a Call of Duty Major in a very long time. Because there's so many different scenarios that can happen. And more importantly, pressure's at its highest. Everything is on the line because there are quite a few teams that are still in the hunt to qualify to even go to COD Champs. And the majority of them are starting in the winner's bracket. The teams that I realistically have kind of in the hunt for this major would be starting at the number five seed, which is Boston Breach. They have 170 CDL points and then followed is Toronto Ultra in six with 160, LAT in seventh with 150, the Los Angeles Gorillas in eighth with 145, but then also the Minnesota Rocker and the Florida Mutineers sitting at nine and 10, and they both have 140 points. And then the absolute long shot, but they arguably have been one of the best teams as of late is the New York Subliners. This is their home major, but unfortunately they're a little bit further behind at 110 CDL points. And winner's bracket round one is the most important round in this entire major for all of these teams. Because if you can win this first round, you're guaranteed top six. But more importantly, that means you get 20. I don't know why I just threw a two up. Two, zero with the nub. You get 20 CDL points. And that basically almost guarantees you qualifying for COD Champs. Which obviously, everyone wants a ring. And you can only get a ring if you actually are going and competing. So taking a look at these matchups, we also have a lot of very competitive matchups on Thursday, which is today. The first game of the event is gonna be the Royal Ravens versus the Toronto Ultra. Now, London has been looking fantastic in the stage four qualifiers. Toronto, on the other hand, uh, I don't know how I feel about them. Toronto barely made it into the winner's bracket, okay? And they went two and three in the qualifying stage. They made it by reverse sweeping optic to get into the winner's bracket. Now, they looked great, in my opinion, at the last major, but I don't know. I don't know if that was a one off or maybe if they went through a little bit of a slump online. If I was a betting man, I would have to say I do think London is going to win this series. So that is moving us on to our second match. That's going to be Los Angeles Thieves versus the Atlanta Phase. And look, man, this is going to be a tough one. LAT has yet to beat Atlanta face. Okay, they've had a couple close series. Like they really have. There's been a couple three twos. They've gotten body three would once, I believe. Um, and LAT, they looked solid in the qualifying matches. They went three and two. They definitely could have went four and one, potentially even five and oh. Um, one of their losses, well, both their losses were game fives. Uh, and one of them came at the hands of Atlanta phase three, two Atlanta phase didn't lose a SND round. I believe uh, they won both SND. So I know LAT can compete with Atlanta when it comes to the response. Uh, LAT can compete with any team in the league right now when it comes to the response, but their SNDs are just hit or miss for me. And I'll be honest, I do think that Atlanta phase are gonna win, win the series. I hope they don't. I hope LAT absolutely bodies the hell out of them. 3-0, not even close. Okay, but let's be honest here. That's probably not going to happen. Um, I hope, though. I hope we can get an upset. LAT can come out on top, man, and really kind of just have so much weight lifted off their shoulders because, like I said, they would basically be in um, COD Champs at that point. They would basically qualify. But I do think Atlanta Phase is going to win. I think it's going to be a close series, but I have them taking it, meaning that LAT is going to be in the loser bracket, and they cannot, they cannot get double first round it, it just it would be bad news and then for the next match we have the nysl versus the minnesota rocker now this is going to be crucial for nysl because like i said they're on the outside looking in compared to all the other teams in the bubble it still is possible for nysl to qualify but they're gonna have to have a very good event it's not just all oh, winning this first round they need to have a good event and they need to hope one of the other teams kind of fizzles out early. Uh, but NYSL have looked so much better than Minnesota, in my opinion. Now, NYSL did get top 12 after looking great in the, the stage three qualifiers. They haven't got out of the top 12, or I don't know why I'm saying that because technically every team is in the top 12. They haven't won a round, I believe, in a major yet this year. Now, does that mean they're on liners? Yeah, probably. But is this the series, is this the major, their very own major, they have home field advantage where they can do it? I think it is. I do. 
I don't know. I'm not completely sold on Minnesota. I'll be honest with you. They're also another team that has looked really good online. And then their performance really just hasn't translated as well as I would have liked it to on land. So I have NYSL winning this 3-1. And the last winner's round one matchup. This is a good one because it's Boston versus Florida. Now, Boston is, they're on the up and up. Florida, on the other hand, I feel like has been very hit or miss with this new lineup that they have with two real and major maniac in. And I think this is gonna be a tough match to predict. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead. I, I think Boston definitely looked a lot better. I'm gonna go ahead and say Boston 3-2. I think this is gonna go to a game five, uh, but I do have them sending Florida into the loser's bracket. So then that means we now head on to elimination round one. This is gonna be on Friday, guys. We have Toronto Ultra versus LAG. And look, Toronto Ultra have not looked great, okay? LAG have probably looked even worse. I still can't wrap my head around the fact that they, they benched Asum. I don't really like the makeup of the roster that they have right now. And I'll be honest, I think it's gonna bite them in the ass. I, I do, I don't know. I just, I don't know who runs the show over there but I wouldn't have went the way that they went about it. I have Toronto winning this three. Oh, I have a 3-0. It probably won't be a 3-0, but like there's gotta be one. You know, there has to be a 3-0. So I have Toronto moving on and that basically means LAG will not be at COD Champs. That is the team that I think won't make it. Um, you know, they're all cool people. It's not, I'm not, hoping that they lose you know i'm not hoping that one specific team doesn't make it as long as lat makes it, i don't care you know and then that means we actually have the lat series the lose bracket round one series where they're gonna up against the paris legion uh paris won two series all year long if this is the series that they decide to win if this is the third series in the entire year guys the entire year that they decide to win i will be livid so i actually take back what i said about LAG because looking at how the the bracket lines up if it now this is if this goes according uh to my plan right in, in my opinion if Minnesota and Florida both lose in winners round one they don't play each other and Minnesota could easily lose to Optic and Florida could easily lose to Seattle and if that happens then LAG would technically still be in. The only other team that could pass them would be NYSL, and NYSL would have, would absolutely have to make a run, which they could. But so that doesn't necessarily mean that LAG would be out. But anyways, LAT, hey, come on, bro. Good plan me. Maybe 3-1. I would be shocked if Paris win this series. If Paris won this series, man, that's a heartbreaker. Even though LAT would still technically be in depending on how teams other teams do you just you can't you can't hopefully they could be faced but if you lose to paris man you, you might not even show up like you you should just not even go to cod champs if you made it after losing the paris legion and then we have minnesota rocker versus optic texas and look optic just haven't looked good man they haven't i know it's been tough illy is back um don't know if he's at 100 percent they I hate to 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 make this comparison because uh, there's half of me right where it's not fair. It's a completely different team, different roster, different players, you know. But they just remind me of the old optic where they would start out really hot in the beginning of these games, and then as it went on and other teams kind of learned and figure out the best way to play the game, optics talent, their skill couldn't carry them far enough, and they just kind of continuously fell down the ranks. Now, like I said, they obviously have had obstacles. There's, there's no surprise. Like they've had obstacles, they've had subs, whatnot, um, but they don't look great. Now, I think that they actually will win this series off of pure talent and clutches. Um, and that means Minnesota will be eliminated from the event, but I just can't see Optic really making a far in this tournament. And then we have the Florida Muneers versus the Seattle Surge. I got to yeah, I know they had a horrible qualifiers, but look, they might have been a little cocky after winning. OK, they got a lot of young guns. It, that's it's how it is. You kind of got to get punched in the mouth a little bit after you do win and, and brought back down the earth um, and experience is the best teacher when it comes to that. OK, I think that they're going to turn it around, though, uh, at this major and make a little bit of a loser bracket run. I, I really do. So I have them beating Florida 
and advancing to play optic in losers round two and then here we will start with the elimination round two because this matchup will actually still be on friday this will be the last match on friday toronto ultra versus lat i got lat making a run okay i got lat winning this series 3-1 i think lat have looked better than toronto as of late and uh you know of course come on a little bit of bias right not really actually lat definitely looked better than toronto but I have them moving on and they will be facing one of the teams from the winner's bracket. And then we have Optic versus Seattle. Like I said, I think Seattle is going to make a little bit of a run. I have them winning this series 3-2 versus Optic. I don't know. I'm just not sold on Optic. Optic is not moving me as of late. Seattle Surge, obviously, they've won the last major. They need to kind of continue this momentum, keep the, the morale up. Um because you don't want to win a tournament and then completely fall off the next, even though that seems like that's the trend in Vanguard, especially when the next event after this is COD Champs. So back to the winners. Round two, we have Atlanta Phase versus London. Look, man, I know I keep saying it, but it has to hit eventually, right? Like it has to. This is Atlanta Phase's event to lose. I have them beating London. I think that they're gonna blow the doors off of Big Ben and they're gonna take this series in dominant fashion and they will be moving on to the winner's finals. Then we have NYSL versus Boston Breach. This one is tough, because on one hand, like I said, they got home field advantage. It's their major. They need this, like they need this. You know, a lot of these other teams, obviously you're not thinking about it in the moment, right guys? But you know, if you win that winner's round one, or at least if you get those 10 points, if you can win one series, you're like, okay, you know, we're, Kind of got that that weight off our shoulders. We we're gonna be a COD champs. Let's go out, kind of play loose. Whatever happens, happens. We obviously want to win this major, but at least we came and, and and we did what we had to do to qualify. NYSL needs to win multiple rounds here, okay? And, and hope for some of the other teams to lose early. But they also can win a series on land. So I don't know how to rate them, but they are going up against Boston Breach. So you know what? I'm gonna give it to NYSL Boston. While they have had way better performances uh, throughout the entire year, especially on land, uh, a lot of their good, successful performances have been against lesser teams. LAT versus Boston. This is going to be LAT 3-1 over Boston. Uh, I think they're just going to be a little bit too much for them to handle. So they're going to be waiting in lose round four. And then we have London versus the Seattle Surge. And wow, I think this could go back and forth. Oh, when it comes to land, I got to kind of ride the Seattle, the Seattle surge right here. Pause. My ex team. Oh, then that means that LAT would be gone up against Seattle. But I do have Seattle winning this moving on the Los Angeles D's versus Seattle surge. Come on. You know, I'm going LAT, baby. I have a three one again. This, I, you know, I'm on the LAT train. Seattle. Hey, look, they they competed. They made a nice solid run. I really think I said this in uh, the last episode. I did the pre-show um, with the LAT boys. I think that this last qualifiers is the best that they've looked as a whole. Like this is the most comfortable they've looked. Octane is, has looked great. Um, Kenny looks more comfortable on the map with the sub. Draws is obviously draws and, and Envoy is Envoy. They're going to do what they need to do. But I just think they look comfortable in multiple modes so i truly think that this is their best shot to make a deep run and i have them in the loser bracket finals and they will be waiting to play the loser of this series but look man it's atlanta face and i know i say that like they i mean they've been in every single finals so yeah they're they're gonna be in another finals they will and then nysl at this point i'm pretty sure especially according if it goes to my bracket NYSL would have qualified for COD Champs from this, okay? Ooh, sigh relief. They did the impossible, okay? But they just lost a tough series versus Atlanta Phase. Now they're in loser bracket finals. And, you know, they get caught slipping because LAT bodies them. No, I'm just kidding. It's going to be a 3-2 absolute grueler, but LAT will advance. Doesn't really matter. NYSL would love to win or have won it, but they still made COD Champs. And uh, that's all that matters at the end of the day. And then we have the finals. And Atlanta phase is getting second again. 
actually, no, I'm just kidding. This is Atlanta Phase's event to win. And I think third time's a charm. They will win this major. I have a 5-3 final uh, score for the finals. Jesus Christ, tongue twister. 5-3 series. Okay, in favor of Atlanta Phase. LAT close, but no cigar. Atlanta Phase finally get over that hump and they win a major in Vanguard. And those are my pickums, guys. I hope you enjoy. Uh, most of y'all are probably going to say bias. LAT sucks. They're not going to make it that far. But let me know in the comment section below which teams do you think that are in the bubble right now are actually going to make COD Champs? Or if it's easier, which team do you think will fall out? Do you think NYSL even has a realistic shot at kind of making this Cinderella run to qualify? Let me know. As always, I appreciate you guys. I'm going to see y'all when I see y'all.